What is up, guys? This is Sneaks of the Trees and my brand new Let's Play channel. And everything. I'm really excited about this. So, why don't we get going? Okay, so. Sorry, I've got to delete a file or two. And these were attempts at trying to record but they ended up kind of backfiring on me. It wasn't one thing that went wrong, it was another. Oh well. Third time's the charm, I guess. started. Okay. Let's go. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Mikori appeared from the sky bringing the hero of men a sword of pinnacle of light. Wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined the blade with care. And now we begin. Na na na. Okay, so we hear a hammer. We have Zelda here. Okay. Let's figure out what's going down with the hammer. Oh, it's this. It's a uh, blacksmith. Okay, so it's the master smith. Gotcha. Goodness me. Oh, she snuck out, you little devil. You, you sneaky fox. Oh, oh she's looking for me. Oh, a festival? I want to go to the festival. Okay. Oh, ooh, even better, she wants to go with us. She wants us to go with her. Even better. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for you guys, if you want me to slow down a little with uh, the text and let you guys actually read it, let me know down in the comments. That's, first I gotta have some subscribers first. I guess I'll wait to see if that happens or not. me to join her. I will. Oh, then you want to go check out the festival together? Okay. And you got permission for me, thanks. You're just a doll, aren't you? Just a doll. Okay, let's go have some fun. Oh, I want to do you a favor. Now I got a cough here. <coughs> Finish making a sword for the minister? Okay. You want us to deliver it to him? Accepted sword. We got the Smith sword. Make sure you don't lose the important delivery. Okay. I'll leave Brother 
presented to the winner of the competition. Who do I gotta compete in the competition? Maybe I can win the old the sword back. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I know we're childhood friends. Okay, I can't let anything bad happen to her. It's not like she's gonna get turned to stone or anything. I'll meet, I'll meet her right out there, right after I get my 20 rupees. Yep, that is great. And then... Let's see. There's some, there's some pots at you, Master Smith. Ah. Uh, I thought there was going to be a rupee in there. Oh well. Over here, over here! You know, you can wait. Your life energy has been slightly replenished. Victorious. Oh, at 6.30. Almost 6.30. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we gotta go. To the festival, to the festival. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. We're here! That was fast. Figured it'd be a little longer. Look at all the festivities. Looks like fun. Doesn't look fun. I just I just said it looks fun. Okay. Look around. I'll look around a little. Ooh, look, at all, look at all the, the banners and... In the, in the balloons. Which great. What do you have to say? Welcome to the Pickery Festival. And they say that every hundred years, the Pickery come to Hyrule. That was the hundredth year to the day. Ooh, will we be able to see some Pickery? Some Pickery? Ooh, look at all these stars and the little uh, I would, uh, these decorations that are under the stars I can't don't know what to call them at the moment yeah, either way let's see what Zelda's up to there's a storyteller ooh, we should listen to him oh I wonder what's a ooh, okay Th that wasn't totally ADD at all I guess okay he's calling me in my classes only what well Paying attention to the teacher once, one time, and then I just kind of get distracted by something else. It's pretty funny. Oh yeah, sword fighting tournament. I don't have to deliver a sword for that. Uh, guess we'll do it later. Let's see what Zelda's up to now. Oh, bells. Okay. A winner. What do we win? Oh, she won the grand prize. Wow. Okay, she gets her choice of whatever she wants out of these three items. Ooh, ooh, ooh a heart container. That, that's pretty useful. That's pretty useful. Ooh, ooh rupees. That's even better. And, and a teeny tiny shield. It's, it's itty bitty. It's kind of embarrassing, really. I'd, I'd go with the heart piece. Take take the heart container. Take my advice, Zelda. I would take definitely take the heart container. Oh, but she picks this shield. Why would you want that ugly thing? The heart stone or heart, heart container is much better. Yeah, the, the, I agree with the man. They're both much nicer than the shield. But nope, she wants the shield. If you say so, princess. Yeah, strange indeed. Okay, hang on for a second. 
get my Coke open, my Pepsi open here. Not sure if you guys heard that or not. Back to business. Also, you want you want us to have the shield. You want me. I'd like to have it. Okay. In this case, sneaks. Besides, besides the point. So I got a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. Okay. I'll do that. Well, now you remember that we had to take the Master Smith sword to the castle. I was on that like five seconds ago, man. Oh well. Let's get a move on. Ooh, you, you people look strange. You, you came a long way to see the pickery. It's named after a tiny people the size of my thumb. I think they're smaller than that. You wanna see what you wanna see them? Okay. Maybe later. Let's see what you look let's see what you have to say. All over the place. Uh not you. Not you. So you've been good you've been good all year? Like all year long? So you've been a good boy, so you want to see the pickery, okay. It's like wanting to see Santa Claus, because you've been a good boy. Be good, kids. And then Santa will be there for you always. Wait, whoa. What is... Oh, a business scrub just hit her with a nut. Well, I don't like hey, people hitting my friends with nuts. And you know what? You know what? I bet you got a little winner. That's some tiny nuts. You got a little winner? Tiny nuts there, man. Bonus points if you know what movie that's from. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, yeah. I heard there was a festival, <clears throat> and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because you're hitting them with nuts. Oh well, back to your hole with you. Feel a little sorry for that business scrub? Whatever. He's got a little wiener and some tiny nuts. Little wiener and some tiny nuts. Oh, yeah, gotta hurry to the castle. We're in the courtyard! Woohoo! And to the minister. Yeah! Yeah! You accepted this blade. You must treasure it always. As if it was your own child. Okay, you have to prepare for the ceremony. I understand. Okay. Ah, my back is killing me. Oh well. Well, I can join us, for, join you for the award ceremony. Thanks for the invite. It's called the Pickery Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. I remember another sword of sorts doing that. 
Every time you pulled the sword out, you, you grew seven years older. Pretty sure you all know what that game is. So I'm not going to tell you. But, okay. So, legend is the Picori gave us this blade. And whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Let's go! Let the award ceremony commence. Vati! Champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. Okay, let's see what this Vati looks like. Oh, you, you seem like an ups, upright fellow. <laughs> oh, and, and that laugh just killed your upright citizenship. Now you just look and sound kind of evil. So, let's figure out what you're up to, Vati. You will relieve us of its contents. Attack! Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Don't smell right. Be careful, it's a trap. Oh! Oh no! He broke the sword. He broke the Bikuri blade. Let all the monsters out. Dora Zelda's got super secret powers. She sent them away. She sent them away for me to fight them later on in the game. Some good stuff here, man. Be a slightly less loud. Wait, never mind, I can't. It's it's to, oh, I called it. She's gonna be made turn into stone, but Link tries to protect her, but fails. So now she's a rock. She she's stoned, if you will. The power awaits me in this chest. No power awaits you in this chest. Almost oh, shit. There's nothing in there but the monsters. The Force. The Force you're after? Could he mean the Triforce? Nah. <laughs> He's after some other Force of power. Uh, links, links out like a light, man. Are you, are you gonna wake up? Are you gonna wake up or do, or do I have to wake you up? Oh, yep, I have to wake you up. Okay. Well, let's get going. Let's see what... Ooh, let's put the mint. Yes, thank goodness, I have awakened. My, my my grandfather's here, too? Okay. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Alright, let's see what they're all up to, huh? Shall we? Yes, I'm awake. Just fantastic. Right. Vadi has cursed Zelda. And now she's stoned. And Vadi shattered the blade. And that's our sit rep. Yep, the thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales, they're real. Like I always say, just because you see it, see it doesn't mean it isn't real.
repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch sol the soldiers at once! Soldiers will not do. The Picori, or Picori, do not show themselves to anyone but children. Anyone but children. Uh, wh why? Why are you looking at me, grandfather? No, 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 oh. Wait, whoa, 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 why are you sending me? Don't even suggest me. I'm not gonna save the world. Not again. Never again. Please. Well, uh, well, well, if it's for Zelda, I, I guess. I guess, I'm, I guess I'll do it. So I got a sword and, and a broken pickery blade. And then I got my grandfather's sword. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. So I must go to the Menace Woods. Woods, I shall go. And then you got the map. I think. Wait, in a second here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There. Is this okay, mommy? How nice of him. It even shows. So you're counting on me. Only me? I'm sure any other child could go do this, but no, you have to send me. Oh well. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. I didn't want to talk to you, really. Yeah, I don't, didn't really care what you had to say there. Sorry, bud. And I think I'll cut the episode off after I get to the Minish Village. We'll see how it goes. How about that? Dr. Rock, you must die. Ooh, Muto. What are you doing here? The King of Hyrule himself entrusted you with this project. That's, that's cool. Cool story, man. But I don't think the King of Hyrule entrusted you with saving the world. Now did he? He entrusted that to me. I'm gonna save Zelda and save the world. So... You can get on my level, sir. And until you have saved the world... At least... As many times as I have. I don't remember how many Zelda games there's been, so... Yeah. I think they're called, like, Mole Bandits or something like that. I'll figure that out when I get there, a little figurine. Yeah. Uto, you can't say that I need to get out of there because I'm a kid. Not until you've saved the world as many times as I have. There's so many Zelda games there's been made, I don't remember at the moment. Moving on. We are now in diminished woods. Deep, dark, and scary for anyone but Link. Ooh, chew! Come here, I, I want to kill you. Eat my sword. Eat some steel. The cold blade of justice. Oh, 
Someone's crying for help. Who is it? It's a, it's a bird with no, no arms or legs. So he's pretty much a sitting duck. Okay, well, you can wait for a minute, because I want this heart, your heart piece. He's, you see if it's okay. Is this okay, Mommy? Let's go. Let's go save this armless, legless bird. Stand there, do something! God, you're selling my mother. Do I, do I like watching you take abuse? I kind of might because you're being a little mean about it. So, I, I don't know if I want to save you. Uh, I was kind of hoping to hit the bushes first before I helped you. Oh well. well not that you couldn't have handled it yourself. Would you mute? Would you have rathered me leave and just let you get your ass handed to you by these Octoroks? Whatever. What's a lone child doing here in the deep woods? What's a weird looking bird like bird like creature like yourself doing here in the woods alone? Okay. The Bakori, you say? And Vati? Bodies curse someone, what? The sacred blade? You find this surprising? Well, okay then. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break his curse, eh? Well then, you have found yourself a companion, my boy. Uh. So, okay, your name's El Ezlo. So let's let's get going, El Ezlo. Come on. Wait, wait, I say. What? Why do you say wait, wait? Oh, I walk too quickly. Quickly, do I? Well, maybe I'll try going a little slower. Can I go any slower? Yeah. Here, I'll try it. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? I, I noticed that you have no legs, so I'm, tr I'm trying to go slow here. See, look at this. Oh, oh, so you're gonna lose your marbles because you can't walk as fast as me? Awesome. Well, if it isn't one thing, it's another. You're a troublesome boy. So you latch yourself to my head. Awesome. Well, at least we've got our hat now. more comfortable than it looks. It's much easier on you, really. I would never have guessed. You're squirming? I'm not squirming, you're just moving around too much. I suppose like you still has much to learn about. If I ever want your insight, I'll remember that. I'll put that in my back pocket. I'll put a little, put it in a little pin and stick it on a board. Ugh. Hold on a moment. We we stumbled across something important, really, because I thought we just stumbled across a stump. Okay. Let's see why this stump is so special. Call them the Pickery. But we f they refer to themselves as Minish. Okay. I gotcha. That makes sense. They built a tiny village where now many live. Where many now live. Yeah, I'll have to be smaller first, I guess. So, it was, yeah, it looks like a mere stump. I'm not sure what anyone else would think. Oh it's, oh, it's a portal. Okay. I got you. It's crazy. So I need to shrink down to minish size. 
with your help and the stump. So, just stand, stand on the stump. Press R. Okay. okay. So, like he said, let's stand on the stump. It looks like there's wind blowing up, blowing my hair and the, and the hat up too, maybe my tunic. So, ready? We're gonna press R. Three, two, one. R. Oh, it's all this magic sigil crap. He's dancing around on my head. Oh, we shrunk! Holy bejeebus, that's cool. We're itty bitty. Itty bitty teeny weeny. Welcome to the world through the eyes of, of a minish. Okay. So. Portals that reduce your size all around in different shapes and sizes. I wouldn't say different uh, sizes. But different shapes, definitely. There's three main ones you really use throughout the game. But whatever. And he's explaining to you that if you walk into a puddle that you can just really walk through when you're big, you'll end up kind of drowning in it. And you can't go through the tall grass that you could have earlier. Like, for example, yeah, I can't walk through that no more. Or, as another example, as he was explaining, you can't see this puddle here that you could walk through earlier. Or as I did earlier to grab the heart piece. Yeah, nothing. I just drowned. But, oh well. I digress. Well, I'm gonna cut the episode off as soon as I walk into that little valley over there. And then, yeah, so. Next time, we will enter the Minish village and we shall meet the Minish. So. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm having some issues.